How can a mountainous village in the hinterland of China that used to be short of grain and farmland increase its annual per capita net income 12 times in eight years? Once an impoverished, underdeveloped village in China, it has attracted foreign dignitaries exploring experience in poverty reduction. Why? The story began nine years ago. This man's visit to Shi Ba San's home is still fresh in her memory. On November 3, 2013, Xi Jinping, General Secretary of the Communist Party of China Central Committee, visited Shi Ba Dong village during an inspection trip. He is the person Shi Ba San spoke about. Shi Ba Dong village, located in central China's Hunan province, is tucked away in the Wuling Mountains with a limited arable land. Many local villagers recall their forefathers toiling away on the barren farmland with a low output. In 2013, the annual per capita net income of the village was only 1,668 yuan. A 5-watt energy-saving lamp was the only electrical appliance of Shi Ba San's family. Development is the path out of poverty. People in impoverished areas should ground all their efforts in reality and take measures in light of local conditions, figuring out what to grow, what to raise, and where to increase income, and helping villagers find a good way out to poverty and move toward prosperity. It was at Shi Ba Dong where she put forward the idea of targeted poverty alleviation for the first time. To Shi Ba San and her fellow villagers, Targeted poverty alleviation means the guidance and support delivered by the government to the village for developing industries, including peach growing, meow embroidery, and rural tourism. In 2016, Shi Ba Dong became one of the first villages in the province to shake off poverty. Today, Shi Ba San has many electrical appliances, including a TV set, an electric fan, and a rice cooker. She also runs a small stall in front of her house. On February 25, 2021, at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing, a grand gathering took place to mark China's poverty alleviation accomplishments and honor model poverty fighters. She noted that through the combined efforts of the whole party and the entire nation, in the important year marking the CPC centennial, China has secured a complete victory in its fight against poverty. Dressed in brand new traditional Miao attire, Shi Jin Tong, party chief of Xi Ba Dong, received an award marking the village as a role model in the poverty alleviation fight. The story of Xi Ba Dong embodies the global significance of China's poverty reduction experience. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres hailed targeted poverty reduction as the only way to reach those farthest behind and achieve the ambitious targets set out in the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. With the goals of the poverty alleviation achieved, the CPC has shifted the focus of its work on agriculture, rural areas, and rural residents to rural revitalization across the board. Shaking off poverty is not the end but a starting point for new life and endeavor. As Shi Ba Dong developed, Shi Kang, who graduated from college in 2020, quit his urban job and returned home to start a short video and live streaming business. The landscapes of the village, the culture of the male ethnic group, and the villagers' daily lives are all content for his live-streaming business. Choosing industries that suit local conditions and improve people's lives is key to rural revitalization. With his resources, Shi Ba Dong has developed a plantation, husbandry, male ethnic embroidery, tourism, and a mountain spring water production 
as lucrative sectors. The local brands have become well known. There are more and more sources of livelihood in the village. With e-commerce and live streaming businesses blooming, local specialty products like Himalaya oil, tea, dried meat, gourd, and embroidery are marketed and sold outside the mountains. As one of the village's first college students, Shi helped his fellow villagers sell goods on the short video platform Douyin through live streaming. More than 5,000 kilograms of local dried meat were sold in a year. In 2021, the collective income of the village reached some 2.6 million yuan, while the annual per capita net income of the village exceeded 20,000 yuan, increasing 12-fold from 2013. Like Shi Kang, Shi Ling Jiao also started a business in the village. 小时候觉得这里贫穷闭塞，一心要走出大山。现在农村富了，机会多了，大家观念也变了，都愿意回乡发展。Modernized rural areas are a land of hope, and a land with a brilliant future. In 2021, the Western Hunan Province was interconnected by the new Zhangjiajie Jiangshou Huaihua High-Speed Railway Line. On December 6 last year, the railroad running between the cities of Zhangjiajie and Huaihua began operation. From an impoverished, landlocked area to a land of hope, with a comprehensive transport network, the story of Shibadong Village, where targeted poverty alleviation was first proposed. Is an epitome of how impoverished areas in China leave poverty behind in a march toward rural revitalization.